Hi guys, how are you today? This is Miss Gartel, and today we're going to be doing the crazy mixed up chameleon. Hopefully you have all listened to the story that I posted on your virtual classroom. And this is the picture, I posted that as well, of the chameleon that we're going to be drawing. And I'm going to be drawing it here for you, and you're gonna be drawing it with me. So here we go. Make sure you have all your supplies, your pencil, eraser, marker, if you can, paint, if you have it as well. So the first thing, I want you to be able to look at the picture, and the first thing we're gonna be doing is you wanna see where it sits on your paper. Okay, so I have my hands out on the paper, so I'm gonna leave some room at the end, and I'll probably start my chameleon right here. And I'm gonna start with the head shape. And the head shape is, again, a U shape, like we do very often. And I'm gonna use my marker only so that you can see it better. Okay, but you, I want you to use a pencil and this way you can erase it if you need to. So we're going to draw that big U shape or a big smile. We're going to make a little angle coming in on each side for the side of his face. And here we're gonna have just a curved line for the top of his head, just like there. We're going to give him two very big eyes because as you saw in the story, this is kind of a crazy mixed up chameleon. So we're gonna make the circle and then a circle inside. We're gonna give him a very big mouth. So a straight line and then we're gonna come down like that for the bottom of his mouth. We're gonna add his tongue a little later. We're gonna come right here, right by where his like ear would be, and we're gonna make his body. So it's gonna be like a little bit of a frown coming up like that. And then we're gonna go over here, put your pencil down, and we're gonna make that curl of a tail. So it's gonna come around, and it's gonna curl like a spiral. Remember that how we do the spirals? Okay, and now we're gonna come down right by his mouth and we're gonna make a smile kind of shape and we're gonna go up to the tail and we're gonna come around and around to continue that spiral to give him that really curly tail. Now, in the picture here, as you see it, he looks kind of fat. He's not that fat, but you can make him skinny, you can make him fat, it's up to you. We're gonna now give him some legs. So we're gonna give him one arm stretched out over here. And so you're just making two lines like that and we're adding his toes. We're gonna give him four toes, okay? Just like that. Now for this arm, we're gonna bend it a little bit. So we're gonna come out and then down. It's almost like an L shape. And then we're gonna do that again, out and down. And we're gonna give him those four toes, two here, two here. He's got long toes, almost with like a claw on the edge so that he could climb everywhere, like on trees. So we're gonna come back here. We're gonna give him another leg that comes out. And don't forget those long toes. And then we're gonna make the other one kind of bent, also like that L shape, <clears throat> and another L shape, and give him those long toes. And there you have the basic body for your chameleon. If you want, what we're gonna now do is, because remember in the story he likes to eat the fly, we're gonna have his tongue come out and curl. Okay, so wherever you can have it come out, and curl, and we're gonna make a second line. Come out and curl like that, just like that spiral. And over here, we're gonna draw the fly. So we have a circle for the body, a circle for the head. I'm gonna give him a little pointy uh, needle, sort of like a, a stinger, but it's not a stinger, it's just a fly. And we're just gonna make two wings Okay, if you wanna give him some stripes on his body. 
and maybe have two little legs sticking out. Okay, there's the fly that he's going to eat. Then if you want, you can give him some stripes or you can give him some spots. I like to do some of those. So I like to put some spots maybe on the top of his back because you can make your chameleon, you can give him any designs you want. And maybe I might put some more spots. He's in the lizard family. And you know what? I like stripes on the tail, just like an iguana might have. So maybe you can put, it's your choice. He's a crazy mixed up chameleon. So it's your choice what you want to do. You want to give him some more spots on his body, maybe on his little belly. You can do that. Okay, so we have our chameleon. And now we're going to add the grass or the ground. And that's just a wavy line that goes kind of behind him. Just a wavy line. We're going to add a sun. So we can make a circle for the sun. And I like to put a spiral in that. Okay, and you can make the rays of the sun. Okay, we can make them like rectangles going all around the sun just so it's more fun to paint in. Okay, that's all. So we have the rectangles around the sun for the rays of the sun. And we're going to add some clouds. Just some nice little clouds floating by because it's a nice sunny day. And then we're going to add some flowers and the grass. So here, first let's make a flower, a circle, and then let's give it a few petals all around. And then we can add some grass next to it, okay? So the grass is just up and down zigzag lines, kind of like that. So we can add some more flowers, and wherever we add the flowers, let's add some grass next to it. Okay, so that he's walking among the flowers and the grass, all right? Remember, the chameleon is kind of little. He's not that big, all right? So he's walking among the flowers. And let's add another one over here. And there we go, add some grass. You might even wanna add a few little rocks. I like to always add some rocks on the ground, okay? All right, there we go, some rocks, pebbles, whatever you might wanna add. Okay, so once you've drawn it, you're gonna go over it with your uh, Sharpie pen or your black pen, whatever, you've got, whatever your parents will let you use. Okay, remember, it's whatever your parents allow you to use. <clears throat> and if you don't have paint, you can get your crayons and you're gonna start painting your crazy mixed up chameleon. And you can make him any color. Remember first to put like a drop of water on all your paints. And if you're gonna mix your colors, make sure you mix them on your paper, not, not really in your paints, because then you change the colors and you don't have them to choose from anymore. Okay, so let's see, did I get all my colors? I think I got all my colors. So I might start, I like to make that light green color and maybe I'll make his face that light green color. Okay, and remember we can blend colors. He doesn't have to be the same color all the way around. So maybe half of his face, I'm gonna make the light green and maybe I'll get the dark green and blend it together for the bottom of his face. Don't paint his tongue. Remember, he's got that tongue sticking out. And remember, you can blend if you want. So here I blended the light green and the dark green together. All right, he does look kind of happy. He really does. I might give him a pink tongue, or you might want to give him the red tongue. And here we're gonna make that. Remember, if you come too close, the colors are going to blend together. Okay, and that's okay too, because that looks pretty sometimes when they blend. So there we have his tongue. And maybe, 
maybe I will make that mosquito purple. It's either a fly or a mosquito. I might make him, uh, give him a purple body and maybe I'll make, give him wings another color. Okay, so maybe I will give him orange wings. So there's, you're the artist so that you can give your chameleon or your, mos your mosquito or your fly whatever color you want him to be. So I like a blue green, like a teal color. So maybe I'll make my chameleon, I'll give him that kind of color on his body. And I'm painting kind of fast. You can take your time and paint a little more slowly. All right, I'm painting kind of fast just to kind of show you what he, he will look like in color so that you could add the colors too. And I'm gonna go around those spots because I think I'm gonna make those spots another color, but I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then I'll come back so this way the colors don't run so much. So if I'm painting something and I want the colors to run, you can paint, let the two wet paints touch each other like I did with his face. I wanted the dark green and the light green to mix together. So that's, that's why I painted them both together. But maybe for the spots, I won't do that. Maybe I'll leave, this, leave that to dry and come back when it's dry. <clears throat> and this way I can add the colors to the spots. So he could be that teal or turquoise kind of blue color and maybe I can give him all different color spots. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Okay, and if you want your color, if it comes out dark and you want it to be lighter, you just add more water and the color will get lighter. That's why watercolors are so much fun to do because you can change that just by adding water. All right, so here I have the body and then maybe I'll give him Maybe I'll give him dark green legs because you know the chameleons change colors and if he's walking on the grass, maybe his legs are gonna be that dark green like the grass kind of color. So here we have some dark green legs. Okay, and I might even mix a little of this green in the bottom of his belly here because if he's changing, to match the, the grass, I might have some of that green color right in there. See, you can add that. You might not see it as clearly on the video, but that's what I'm doing. Okay, so his legs, his arms and his legs are gonna be this green. And I know in the book, he's all different colors and he's all different colors depending on what animal he wants to be or he wants to be like because in the beginning of the book, he's not so happy with himself, right? He's not that happy. And he thinks all the other animals in the zoo have it better than he does when he doesn't realize he's got it pretty good himself. All right, he's a happy fellow. He just doesn't know it yet. So now when I get to the tail, I can give him all kinds of colors for his tail. I can give him a purple stripe, and maybe I'll give him some a few purple stripes, okay, like that. And then I'll go back when it dries and add some other colors. So see, I'm skipping every other stripe. So when I do come back, and I'm rolling up my sleeve, when I do come back, maybe that'll be dry. And this way I can add another color. Or you can even wait for tomorrow, you know, and finish it the next day if it doesn't dry. And I'm gonna make the tip of his tail purple. All right, so here, we'll make the tip of his tail, that spirally part, purple. Cause I like how that purple looks with the teal and the green. And then while we're letting it dry, okay, we're letting the pic our picture dry. So now we can maybe go on and do the sun and the flowers, okay? I just want you to be able to see how that looks right now. Okay, so we can go back, remember to wash your brush, make sure the, the blues are all washed out, 
And I like to mix the yellow and the oranges for the sun. So maybe I'll paint it yellow and then I can even add some, or I painted it orange and I might even add like little drops of red. See how the red is now gonna blend with that orange? I don't know if you can see, I did orange and red together. And I'll go back and maybe add the rays Okay, and I'll make them yellow. And if I go back, after I paint them yellow, I can even add some orange into them and that will blend because it's still wet. So if I put a drop of the orange in them, the orange will blend into the yellow and that'll look really nice. And then as that's drying, you can go and do your flowers. Okay, let's add some colors to the flowers. And I would wait with painting my grass till everything is really, really dry. So my flowers, maybe I'll do them pink. Okay, so we'll add some pink petals to the flowers. Okay, and maybe you want to make the grass that's sticking up a dark green and in the background, the rest of the grass, you can make a light green. Or the other way around okay so you can you're you're in control you pick the colors that you want to do okay so I'm gonna leave it up to you to finish your painting any way you like all right you might even want to make it a sandy sandy uh, spot that he's walking on I like the green but see how I'm making some adding a little bit of color to the grass okay so I have some grass which is why he's turning the that green color now for the rocks remember the rocks can be gray and we if we add a lot of water to the black okay and just put little drops and if it's too much wash your brush off and add some more water you don't need a lot because they're just dark little rocks. See, I'm going back. This one had a lot of paint on it. And I'm using it to help me paint the other rocks. You need very little when you're doing the rocks. Very, very little. Okay, now my, my chameleon isn't totally dry, but I'm going to go back and I might add some pink spots to him. Okay, because that's what I like. But you can make them all different colors. Okay, see how that pink looks nice? Give him a nice pink spot. All right, and you can make him, as I said, any color that you want. See how this pink came out a little bit lighter than the other? That's because I had less paint on it and more water. All right, and it's up to you. Up to you what you want to do. And then you're going to finish your tail. You can even paint inside his mouth. I forgot about that. Inside his mouth. <clears throat> and give him eyes. Well, let's, let's make a color for his eyes. There you go. Okay. And you pick out the rest of the colors for his tail. And here's my crazy mixed up chameleon. So you get started with yours and let me see what yours looks like. Post the picture when you're done. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.